Holmes was born. Then he got fat, bald, and tired, tired, tired. Sup, Holmes. Hi, everyone. It's Jonathan Holmes again doing Sup, Holmes, and I'm talking with Phil Tibitowski. Did I say it right that, right nope. that time, Phil? <laughs> you, you should just give up. Tibitowski. Toski. Tibitowski. There you go. How's that? Nice. Yeah, I did it. That was good, yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> And you are one of the developers of Octodad and Octodad 2, Dadliest Catch. Is that this right? That's correct, yes. Tell us, tell us about that game. So tell the, us all gist, about it. the gist of it is that you play as an octopus who is the father of this suburban family. So you have two kids, a boy and a girl, Stacy and Tommy, and then you have your wife, Scarlet. <laughs> and none of them know you're an octopus, even though it's kind of blatantly obvious. Uh, uh, I've... I like to think that they're blinded by like love, so they don't oh, really awesome. know. Um, and you're basically trying to go through your normal kind of routine, like taking care of them, and, uh, doing the dishes, and all these kind of mundane things. Except you're an octopus, and you control them kind of like a marionette. So you tend to cause like huge messes and stuff wherever you go. And the point of the game is to kind of complete these things while also not being too suspicious and kind of letting them find out what you really are. So it's kind of like Heavy Rain meets Metal Gear. Meets... Oh, exact. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> meets Sea Man. There's a little Sea Man mm -hmm. in there. Um... Thirty-minute cutscenes. Getting them ready. <laughs> well, it's a stealth game. You don't want to be caught. It's yeah. Heavy Rain that game. And it's like this is uh, kind of a metaphor for what it's like to do real life. Except Heavy Rain, I didn't get into that game all that much. I liked it in theory, but in concept, I felt like they took. Um, Real life situations and video gamed them to the point where they felt unreal and kind of yeah. like I feel you, very fake going like this to shave and stuff like that. Whereas right, Octodad yeah. takes the the faking it to make it concept of life in general, which I think we've all been there before, and really does it as a as a well thought out metaphor. If you don't mind me saying. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. He tries. I, I think that's like the the main thing we have is that uh, he tries. He's like, just wants to be the best father, family man possible. And what Octodad is now was not what he was initially. Like the initial idea was you were an octopus inside of like a, an android human. And you control, you were like in, living in his head like that awful Eddie Murphy movie that oh, came out recently. Oh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're an octopus in this guy's head and he's got like these levers and stuff and you're just pushing and pulling them to make him walk. and. The initial idea was just based around like micromanaging movements, stuff like that. When I play the game, I definitely get a feeling that I'm really a slippery <laughs> arthropod. Is that how, what you call them? Uh, cephalopod. Cephalopod. My bad. Jeez, I didn't show that. Mix up my uh, sea life uh, yeah. terminology. I think that's one thing that we do well is that we don't kind of draw lines in the sand as to what is and is not a good idea for a game. Just go and run with whatever crazy shit comes out of our mouths. So and so far so good. Yeah, that's how I would say ninety percent of the stuff I like. That's how it comes in the game. Is tapping into that uh, inspiration and the subconscious, spewing it out of your face, and then writing it down or making yeah. it into a game or whatever. Because if you're all strategic and pre-planned, people can tell. Yeah. That's why I don't like Mass Effect all that much. I know people get mad at me when I say I don't I think it's kind of boring, honestly. I'm not being a hipster when I say that. I'm not saying <laughs> it to be cool. Trust me. I like a lot of things that are very well accepted. Oh, like so do I. I. Like, I'm a huge Halo fan. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're actually probably the reason I got into making games, Bungie is. Wow, but, um, wow. Why is that? I don't know. I just like how... It's weird because it's an FPS, but I really like how they told the story huh. through through the games, and it's just really fun, tight game that has a lot of uh, fun moments in it. And you kind of, even though it's like the same thing over and over again, I always find new reasons to enjoy it. So mm -hmm. I think it's that balance of, like you were saying before, giving the player direction and a skeleton, but letting them do whatever they want in that skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the Halo series has traditionally done that very well with a lot of passion. Those guys, they weren't big, really, before Halo, and Halo got big because they brought so much passion to it. Um, I think that worked out for them.